The black mamba is an incredibly dangerous snake. It's famous for its aggression, speed, and powerful venom, which can finish off an adult in less than an hour. However, there are snakes in the world which toxins are far more terrifying. This is Smart Pizza, and in this episode, I'll show you a snake that's a hundred times more venomous than the black mamba. And I'll also tell you about other extremely venomous and dangerous snakes. Let's go. Inland Taipan. At the moment, this snake is unconditionally considered number one in terms of toxicity among all land snakes on the planet. The Inland Taipan significantly outpaces its creeping relatives. For example, it's four times more venomous than the coastal Taipan, which itself is famous for its incredibly powerful venom. In this respect, the black mamba is not even close to the Inland Taipan, which is a hundred times more venomous than that. And this is not a figure of speech or an exaggeration, but a real fact. Scientists conducted a study and found that the venom of the Inland Taipan is 180 times more powerful than the venom of the King Cobra. The Cobra is far from being the most harmless snake on the planet. The Black Mamba is more venomous than the King Cobra, but the Inland Taipan surpasses it many times. A measly 44 thousandth of a gram of the Taipan's venom is enough to kill 100 humans or 250,000 mice. Speaking of mice, the Inland Taipan deals with them instantly. Within seconds of being bitten, a rodent stops moving. The Inland Taipan is extremely dangerous, just like any other venomous snake. A bitten person can die within 45 minutes of contact with the snake, and this is the case if the reptile doesn't even try. But in fact, the situation is not that bad. Firstly, the Inland Taipan lives in sparsely populated and arid parts of Australia. And secondly, it's not too aggressive and doesn't lunge at everyone. However, the same cannot be said of its relative, the coastal Taipan. But I'll talk more about it later. Let's take a look into the sea, because that's the only place where you can find worthy competitors for the Inland Taipan. The fact is that sea snakes are particularly toxic, which land snakes can't even dream of. And among these toxics, there's the king, the Belcher's Sea Snake. One can say that it is at least a thousand times more dangerous than the Black Mamba, and ten times more dangerous than the Inland Taipan. After all, if one dose of the Inland Taipan's venom can send a hundred people to Kingdom Come, then this marine killer can kill a thousand people at once. The venom of this snake contains mainly neurotoxins that act on the nervous system. The venom also contains myotoxins that cause very severe pain and almost certain death. Following this logic, it would be obvious to ask the question, why is everyone in the sea still alive? Shouldn't these snakes have cleaned out all the fauna, swimmers, and divers completely? I explain. As in the case of the Inland Taipan, we're lucky. The Belcher's sea snake is not aggressive and is even fearful and timid. It doesn't attack first, and you have to make it very angry for it to attack. But even then, the snake can dry bite without releasing venom into the offender. Coastal Taipan Let's get back to Taipans. The Coastal Taipan is a relative of the Inland Taipan. One can say they're antipodes. If the Inland Taipan lives in the central mainland Australia, by the way, that's why it's called Inland, this one settles on the coast of Australia and New Guinea. The Inland Taipan is rather restrained, while the coastal one is very fiery. However, they have one thing in common, powerful venom. This is the third most venomous land snake on the planet, which doesn't mind showing its skills in action. The coastal Taipan is very vigilant and irritable. It reacts to the slightest movement nearby. It considers literally everything as a provocation, so it lunges at everyone. If the Taipan is caught unawares or cornered, it'll fiercely defend itself and its venom will lead to death in 4 to 12 hours, or maybe even faster. The coastal Taipan also holds the record for the amount of venom it releases. This particular snake recently set a record. 4.5 grams of venom was squeezed out of it. This is a colossal amount, about 10 times the lethal dose of the Inland Taipan. With such a dose, a coastal Taipan could kill thousands, if not tens of thousands of people. It's incredible how dangerous a single snake can be. If you listened and watched carefully, I said that the coastal Taipan is the third most venomous land snake on the planet. The first is the inland Taipan. Which snake then is the second place? 
Well, it's the Eastern Brown Snake, and it's also from Australia. Yeah, you heard that correctly. Australia is home to three of the most venomous snakes on the planet. The fauna of this country never ceases to terrify and amaze. The Eastern Brown Snake, though inferior to the Inland Taipan in terms of venom power, is more dangerous than it. At least because it doesn't hide somewhere in desolate deserts, but regularly slithers out to people, appears on roads, settles near farms, and sometimes even visits cities. The reason is its diet, which consists mainly of rodents. But it can attack not only a rat or a mouse, but also people. In terms of excitability and temper, these creeping creatures are not much inferior to the coastal Taipan, so that on occasion will certainly show their venomous grin. It'll be lucky if the snake makes a blank shot and not let the venom into the blood. Fortunately, this happens most often. But if the venom gets into the body, it'll start to clot the blood, which can cause death. Tiger Snake Next up is this reptile. It's nicknamed the tiger because of its bright coloring. As a rule, the main color of the snake's back and sides is black or dark brown, while the belly is yellow, which is at least a little bit similar to the tiger color. The tiger snake is among the most venomous snakes on the planet, and it inhabits, yes, Australia again. It's not even surprising anymore. The tiger snake is considered extremely toxic. Some suggest that a full dose of its venom is enough to kill several hundred people at once. In this respect, the tiger snake can even compete with taipans. Some people call the tiger snake peaceful and non-aggressive, but I find it hard to believe when I look at this footage. All the snake does is attack people, and it attacks incredibly fast. One can barely dodge its bite. But if one doesn't dodge, they risk getting a mixture of neurotoxins and anticoagulants. The neurotoxins immobilize the muscles, while anticoagulants break down the structure of the blood, causing bleeding. The good news is there's an antidote to the snake's venom. The bad news is that if it's administered after the onset of paralysis, it'll be too late. Common Crate Finally, we leave Australia. Spoiler alert, not for long. We'll be back there today. In the meantime, let's take a look at this amazingly beautiful snake. The Common Crate, or the Bengal Crate, is found in India, Pakistan, Nepal, Afghanistan, and Bangladesh. The transverse stripes gracefully harmonize with the dark color of the snake and its white belly. Such beauty is something to gaze at. But it's better not to get too fascinated by this crate. Although it is beautiful, it is extremely dangerous. Any person who looks at it can go to sleep forever. Unlike the Belcher Sea Snake or the Eastern Brown Snake, the common crate spares no venom. Its glands contain up to five lethal doses, which it will gladly spend on some offender. Unfortunately, this happens often. In India, the common crate is the second most deadly snake after the King Cobra. We've already looked at many snakes with incredible venom today. Nevertheless, extremely venomous does not always mean dangerous. You can see this in the example of the Belcher Sea Snake in the Inland Taipan. The next snake in this episode may not be as toxic as these two, but it is truly deadly. This is the deadliest snake on the planet. More people in the world die from its bites each year than from bites of any other snake. And its name is the Saw-Scaled Viper. I would call this reptile the Bruce Lee of the snake world. Just look at how fast it attacks. It happens in a fraction of a second. If you blink, you could literally miss the whole thing. In terms of speed, it's no worse than the great martial artist. The only difference is that Bruce didn't have any venom. But the venom of the saw-scaled viper is a very dangerous weapon, and it can work in different ways. In some cases, the venom of the saw-scaled viper lowers the blood clotting level, and a victim dies from blood loss. While in other cases, the venom, on the contrary, thickens the blood. No matter how the venom works, it's extremely effective. About one in five people bitten by a saw-scaled viper dies. Common Death Adder It's hard to think of a more epic name for a snake, and most importantly, the name fully reflects the essence of the reptile. It lives in Australia. I promise we'd look there again. Also, the snake can be found on the island of New Guinea and neighboring islands. As for the name, everything's very clear. The behavior of this reptile is similar to that of the adder. It doesn't run from danger, does not adopt frightening postures, but simply camouflages and waits. If a potential offender or aggressor doesn't notice it and goes away, they're lucky. But it often happens that the snake is not seen until the last moment, 
and one ends up literally bumping into it. In that case, the common death adder snake may see it as an attack, bite, and live up to the second word in its name. If no antidote is administered, death will occur within six hours as a result of paralysis of the respiratory muscles. Now, things aren't exactly bad with attacks, but just imagine, before the antidote was created, half of the people bitten by the snake died. That's all, guys. Which venomous snake impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and see you later.